comes and it comforts my soul. Your peace comes and lifts me up. Your peace comes and lifts me up. When I'm feeling stuck in the right, your grace comes and shows me. Hi, welcome to Encouragement for Today. You are so not going to be disappointed by watching Encouragement for Today. Listen, you know the Bible says to encourage one another daily while it's called today. I love that. You know why I love that? I love it because if you go on, it actually does say, oh, I don't have it right here now, but it says, lest your hearts get hardened. And so, you know, what happens is if we aren't feeling encouraged, what are we? What's the opposite of encouraged is discouraged. And so a lot of times we get really discouraged and then our hearts start getting hardened. And that's why the word says, encourage one and yet one another daily while it's called today and so today you are going to feel so encouraged encouraged because not because it's me which by the way my name is pastor pam espinosa i i'm not very good at always introducing myself am i <laughs> and so but it's not because of me but it's, see it's because of god he always is encouraging you want to be encouraged get into his word his word is so encouraging sometimes we don't even know where to start but you know it used to be like you know we go like this like hmm, hmm, okay right here i'm going to read it you know even that would be encouraging because his word is so encouraging but today i want to encourage you with um, stay in tune because today is part two of last week's of encouragement for today. Um, I want to not go on and just keep on talking because I want to reintroduce to you Bishop Andrew Bills. And Bishop Andy is absolutely amazing. He is the founder and the president of Holy Spirit Broadcast Network. And this man has the most amazing testimony with what God has done. And like you said on last week, it's not because of anything, because he's all that special. Now, he's special to me and I know he's special to you but his point is not because he's he's anybody but because he's a child of God but because he said yes he said yes to God and so Bishop I just I want I just want to continue on where we were from last time and so everybody can watch last week's and it's yes, all good yes. but let's keep going on and and share what God has done how he brought encourage encouragement <laughs> how he brought Holy Spirit <laughs> Broadcast Network together and um, where you are at in your life and, and where it's at now. I mean, I know you shared how many countries it's in now mm -hmm. and all of that, which I think we can hit on again on this one because it's absolutely amazing and beautiful. But I want to hear, I want you just to share again, you know, in more depth, you know, with what God has been doing and how this was birthed because this is important. Well, you know, I want to say to all of the people in the audience, it doesn't matter who you are, yeah. what you have or you think you lack. Yeah. As long as your heart is open for God, you are yes. a candidate Amen. for Jesus Christ to use. Yes. He just asks you one question. Will you trust me? Mm, that's that's all he wants to know. Will yes. you trust me? Yes. We were talking in our last week's session about all the different miracles. Yes. The Lord just, and every one of them, wants to know, will you trust me? Yes. Are you looking to me to be your provider, way maker, yes. savior, healer, keeper? Will you trust me? Yes. And I always preach that message. It has yes. become uh, one of my trademarks or yes. slogans yes. wherever I go preach. Yes. Um, because a lot of people, that's what they're wrestling with. Let's, let's, let's come down to where the rubber meets the yeah, road. Yeah, yeah. It comes down to trust. Yes, it does. Yes. It's not an issue of little faith versus yeah. great faith. Yes. It's an issue of just, will you say yes, yes. to the Holy Spirit? Let me give you an example. There's a beautiful Bible story mm -hmm. in Second Kings mm -hmm. um, about... Um, the uh, soldier that was a leper named mm, Naaman. Yes, yes. Mighty man. I love this. Mm -hmm. Won all the battles. Yes. But he was losing a battle of his life. Yeah. When he was diagnosed with leprosy. Yeah. Well, you know the story? He made his way to the prophet's house, mm -hmm. and the prophet Elisha didn't even come out to greet him. The word of God came out and told him to go dip into the river yes. of Jordan. Yes. Seven times. Mm -hmm. he, he became mad, violent. Yeah. Um, 
truly, this man should have came out and did some wave the magic wand, right, did hocus right. pocus abracadabra. It's what we think, yeah. It's an issue Absolutely. of will you trust the word of God? Yes. And the little maiden came and spoke, little servant, and said, if he'd asked you to do a big thing, you've done it. Why don't you just do this yeah. little thing? So he takes off all of his garments and yeah. robes of, of yeah. his notoriety, and he yeah. gets into this freezing cold, uh, wow. overflowing, filthy watered wow. Jordan River. Yeah. This was not a clean yeah. uh, water where he was going to go for a picnic. Right. No. Yeah. He expressed yeah. regret. Yeah, mm, that's good. But he entered in, yeah. and he dipped. Yeah. One time, two, three, four, mm. five, and six. Each time coming up, no yeah. change. Yeah. Nothing. Mm. No appearance. But when he dipped that seventh time, he came up, mm. and the leprosy was gone. Wow. His hands wow. were as clean as. Yeah. A newborn babes. Yeah. I can see him splashing in the water. Yeah. Water flying everywhere, yes. flipping, doing backflips in the water. Yes. God had so wonderfully moved. Yes. It's just an issue of trust. Yes, so good. The word of God. Yes. When you're going through any crisis, the yes. devil tries to move you from the mm. place of trusting God. Yeah. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Yes. You're on the brink. Mm. You're on the threshold of a, a great breakthrough. Yes, Jesus. Something you've been praying for. Yes. Your deliverance, your victory, mm. your promise is right there. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And the devil knows God's getting ready to move. Yes. But he's out to make you move. Mm from yes. that place of blessing. Yes. Don't you dare move. Yeah. Dig your heels in. Yes. Trust God. Yes. Depend upon him. Stand on his word. So good. He's faithful. Yes. God, there's two things that describe yeah. God in his word. Mm. <coughs> Love and faithfulness. Mm. Yes. He's faithful because he loves us. Yes. He gives us what we don't deserve yes. and holds back that which we do. Yes. And he demonstrates grace. Yes. Man, God good. so loves us mm. that Jesus said, whatever you ask the Father, yes. isn't that it? That's right. That's right. Whatever you ask the Father yes. in my name. Yes, Jesus. He says, I will do it. Yes. Mm. My friends, where else can you get a word, a promise like this? Yes. He says, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake mm. you. Where, where can you go that God does not exist? Mm. Mm. You might be saying, well, Bishop, you don't know what I've been through. No, I don't. Mm. But God does. Yes. And he's eliminated all the excuses. Yes. Because he sent his son into the world yes. who hung on that cross. Yes. And you cannot go through anything that he has not experienced. Yes, that's right. He came down here and he subjected himself yes. to all of that activity. And they killed him. Yes. Mm. Then they buried him. Mm. But it, the story doesn't end there. That's Praise right. you, Jesus. Yes. Where else in history do you find where a three-day-old dead man got up yes. and was seen walking the streets yes. Yes. by over 500 people? Yes. And he's alive forevermore yes. in the person of the Holy Spirit. Yes, that's right. Who rules and reigns within our hearts. Yes. Oh, that's good. So God just asks you one question right where you are, mm. regardless of what you're dealing with. Yes. He's asking you, will you trust me? Yes. Yes. You know, yes. some people, Sister Pam, say they trust God. Yeah. But at the same time, they have a plan B and C. Yes, yes. 
you know, yeah. um, some people have moved down to W, X, Y, and Z. Yeah, <laughs> right. No, but the Bible tells us to lay it at the foot of the cross. Yes. Lay our burdens yes. on him. Yes. Give them to him. Yes. And let him have his way. Yes. We not to pick them back up. You don't carry a sack of burdens and throw it on Calvary's cross yes. and then pray, then pick yes. it back up and walk away with it. Yes. <clears throat> mm -mm. We leave it there. Yes. Matter of fact, I won't even go one step further and say every time I take the burdens to the Lord and I dump it at Calvary's yes. cross, I jump back on top of the heap and say, Lord, here am I too. That's right. Yes. That's Have good. your way in and through me. Yes. Forgive me of my sins. Yes. Any yes. failures, any shortcomings, anything I missed, yes. forgive me, Lord. Have yes. your way mightily mm. in me, renewing me. Yes. Clean heart. Yes, Lord, yes, Jesus. have your way. Yes, Lord. Help me be yes. the leader, the man, the, the yes. individual that you want in these last yes. and evil days. That's right. Thank you. Lord. God is looking. He's trying to raise up a yes. brand new army. Absolutely. God told me he's raising up an army of men and women. Yes. Ladies, you've yes. not been left out. That's right. I don't care what some of the yes. chauvinistic men have to say. Yeah. God is calling and raising That's up right. an army of women. Yes. I got one of the mightiest ones I know sitting right here by the side of me. Uh, and many of you can out preach and out teach some of these other men. Yes. Go ahead on with your good self. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and teach that word of yes. God. Yes. Hallelujah. And yes. trust the Lord. Yes. It's, it's about yeah. trusting him. Mm -hmm. It is. It makes me think right now, the very one that knows us the best loves us the most. Yes. And we can trust him. He's such a good father. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me, as you're talking, I'm thinking about like, when I go home to my mom and dad's house, I know, doesn't matter how long I've been there or not been there, I know I could go in there, I can open the cabinet, I can open the refrigerator, I can help myself, I can go lay on the couch, I put my feet up on there, on the coffee table. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. because it's my mom, it's my dad. Mm -hmm. And that's how Jesus is with us. With us. We, he, even more so, we can't even comprehend it totally. Because this is in our, in our own mindset. Well, the love is just so amazing. That's you right. know, and he's such a good father and he's called mm -hmm. us to such greatness. Mm -hmm. And it's not based on us, it's based on his love for us. And he loves us unconditionally. He loves us so deeply and so richly. We can't even understand. But I believe this <coughs> I believe that once we know how loved we are, then we respond to that love. That's right. And that's all we he respond. wants. Yes. He wants us to respond. respond. Yes. You know, too many Christians or too many preachers from yeah. pulpits make faith or uh, uh, responding right. a mystery. They make yeah. it complex. Right. It's easy. Yes. Yes. It's easy. Yes. To love God means yes. you let God love you and yes. you reciprocate yes. to that love. Yes. Lord, here am I. Yes. You know, every time I hear the word Father, yeah. in the Aramaic translation, mm -hmm. Father means our beloved one. Wow. Yes. He's my beloved. Yes. I love him. Yes. Because he first loved me. Amen. God We're came responding. looking for us. Yes. We didn't go looking for yes. him. Yes. Yes. We go back into the Genesis story when yeah. Adam sinned. Yeah. Who went looking for whom? Right. Yes. My Bible said God went walking in the cool yes. of the day. Yes. Yes. Adam, Adam. Adam, where are you? <laughs> I, Adam over there shrieking behind shrubbery. Right. Like and, oh shoot. And, and, and God's yeah. almighty. Mm -hmm. You know, he knew what, what was going yeah. on, but he wanted him to respond. Yes, yes. Finally, when he did, you know, God changed his garments yes. to stand in his presence. Yes, yes. And God still wants to change your yes. garments. Yes, absolutely. He wants to take you mm. out of ashes. Yes. And yes. put you in his beauty. Yes. He wants to take you out of the garment of sorrowness. Yes. And mm. give you peace. Oh God. And tranquility. He wants to give you his peace. Yes. His peace that passes 
all understanding. Oh, yes. Yes. It, it, oh, he wants to bless you. He wants to yes. lay upon you mm. his glory. Yes. His anointing. Yes. You know, you. righteousness is a cloak mm -hmm. yes. that we 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 yes. we take on, but yes. he puts it on yes. us. Yes, yes. He takes our our sin away yes. and he gives us his righteousness. Yes, that's right. We are made righteous. We yes. are made to stand in good standing yes. before him. You yes. can't earn it, work for it. You mm. can't become so educated that you yeah. get a degree and say, I deserve this. Yes. There's no other way. You can't barter yeah. for it. Yeah. You receive it yes. by responding yes. to his love. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. I, yes. I receive you. Mm. Have your way in me. Yes. And you know, yes. I don't know about you, mm. but when I was in the world, I messed it up pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. You see, mm. at one time, Pam, I was homeless. Mm. I messed it up real good. Yeah. We're good at that, aren't we? Oh, yes. Yes. And the devil's out to help you mess it up. Yes, he is. Because he wants to mess it up so bad that you take your own life. Maybe yeah. I'm talking to somebody who thought about that. Mm, yes. But why should you take your own life yes. when Jesus has already given his? Yes, that's right. He's given mm. his life yes. so that you might live. Yes, that's right. The name of Jesus. God yes. wants to bless your life yes. and me. impact you, through you. Yes. Impact the world around you. Mm. And it begins with you just saying yes, yes. to him. Yes, I love it because in the word it says, who will I send? Hmm. Oh, send me. And I'll, Isaiah, go. Yes. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Every time I read that in Isaiah, I always think, I'll go. I'll go. Mm -hmm. I want to go. And you know, it doesn't mean it's going to be easy. <coughs> it doesn't mean it's just going to be, you know, just the easiest thing ever. But the beauty of it is he gives you that peace, like mm -hmm. you already shared, Bishop, that peace that surpasses all understanding. Mm -hmm. And it is all a matter of responding. We respond to that love. It is so deep. It uh, is so rich. It is so wide. Mm -hmm. It is so overwhelming. I see every time I go to the beach, I grew up at the beach and I love the beach. I love the ocean. Every time I sit out there, now I'm older, I just sit in a chair. I don't always go in the water, but I look at the ocean and I always think like, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Only God could do this. Only mm -hmm. God can make it go so far, put the sand there, make everything yes. stop. Only God. And then I look at all the waters and I think he loves me more than this. Mm -hmm. He forgives me more than this. And he, it's and he's overwhelming. Greater. And he's greater. He's greater. People don't, uh, you know, people are not aware of how powerful yeah. that ocean is. Yes, you're water, right. Water is hard. You yeah. Can, you, you get up, up mm -hmm. high enough and yeah. dive, it's like hitting concrete. Yeah, yeah. And then when you submerge, yeah. every six to nine feet you go deep, the pressure changes. Yes, yes. It can crush. Yes. But he's greater than that. But he's greater that. than that. Oh, that is so he's good. He's greater than that. That is so good. Oh, our God is greater. He is so good. You know, often when you're going through a struggle, Pam, people forget how great God is. Yes. And many Christians begin to think that the devil is actually greater than God. Mm. Because the devil has you focusing right. on what you see. Yes, absolutely. Your we, we need to look beyond yes. what we see. Yes. Uh, one day Elijah's servant came out and he saw the enemy of Israel. Yeah. And he screamed, mm. Master, they're here. They're all around the yard. Elijah wasn't moved. He yeah. said, Lord, touch my servant's eyes and let yeah. him see something. Yes. And his eyes opened yes. and he saw the army of the Lord yes. behind the, hit their enemy. Yes. And it was a greater multitude. Yes. Our God is gr the greatest. Greater, that's right. There's Absolutely. nobody greater. His yeah. name is above every name. Yes. Jesus. Above every name. Yes. And then he goes on to say his word is even above his name. Yes. Man, that's good. There's nothing in the heavens yes. above Jesus. Yes. N nothing below the earth. Nothing yes. on the earth yes. greater than his name. Yes. 
And his word is above his it's name. Even above. Wow. And he says yes. that heaven and earth are, will, will pass away before yes. my word will yes. ever pass away. Yes. We can take it to the bank. Yes. We can yes. say, Lord, you have said. Yes. And I'm standing on this. Yes. You have promised yes. that you would never leave me. You have declared that you are my provider. Yes. I don't know Amen. how I'm going to yes. make it. Thank One you, day, Lord. under my worst circumstances, yeah. there was a knock at our front door. Yeah. My kids had asked me, Daddy, how are we going to eat today? I was laid off. The, the refrigerator was bare. The only thing yeah. in the refrigerator was the light bulb. Wow. I just told the kids, put the tablecloth on the table. I don't know how God's going to provide, but food will be here. Yes. There was a knock at the door. A couple stood there, and they had a shoebox in their hand. Mm -hmm. Never seen them before, never seen them after. I invited them into the house. I thought they were giving me a pair of shoes. They took off the top, shoebox full of money. Wow. Some paper dollar, mostly coins. Yeah. Wow. I screamed for my wife to come run, and she come flying in there. I, I, I told a couple, I heard about stuff like this. It never happened to me before. Wow. I can't remember how much we got, Yeah. but it paid utility bills. Wow. It put gas in the car that I could go look for a job. Yes. It gave us groceries yes. for two or three weeks. Wow. And, wow. and I never saw the couple again. I didn't yes. know how. You it know, was God. Yes. God did this. Yes. Let me tell you. God is not short of any miracles. He yes. knows your address. He knows your yes. phone number. He knows your right. social security number. Yes. He knows how to find you. Yes. You can show up at a job. Yes. I, I showed up at a job one day. There were 50 of us in line. I was the last person in the line. Wow. I got the job. Woo. The favor of yes. God. Yes. God gives you favor. Yes, he does. When he's yes. blessing you. It doesn't matter what your credit report right. looks like. God's yes. not going to read your TRW or yeah. Equifax or whatever yeah. it's called. Yeah. When he goes to bless you, he, he just moves. You. That's right. That's he just right. moves. Yes, that's When he right. goes to heal, he doesn't read our x-rays. Yeah. He doesn't call the doctors yeah. in for consultation. He moves by his yes. spirit and the power of his word. Mm. There's no shortcoming of word, no. uh, power. Power, that's right. And if he takes you through it, if he chooses that's not right. to just miraculously raise yes. you up, yes. you are still not going to stay. That's right. He's going to take you through because yes. he want to mature you and teach yes. you something. Yes. And I'm here to tell you, it's through. Yes. I want you to really get this, really write yes. this down, memorize what yes. Bishop's getting ready to say. Yes. Sometimes the greatest revelations mm, come that's right. when you're in the yes. toughest situations that's right. and you're going through. Yes. This is where you really yes. see Jesus. You yes. hear his voice and he becomes more real to you. I'll tell you, I told you you would not be disappointed. Did I tell you that? We are running low on time. I want to have Bishop pray. I want to have, I want, you know what I want? I want you to go back to last week. Watch it when it's on demand. Watch that. Watch this again next week when it gets back up on on demand after it's done showing. And just watch it because this is power. Yes. This is Jesus. This is, I love it because it's not by might nor by word, but by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And that's what it, Holy Spirit Broadcast Network. So, Bishop, we're running out of time. I want to say to you, I love you. Love you. You are too. amazing. You are an amazing man of God. Thank you so much for saying yes to Jesus. Will you, and will you, will you pray for the people? This program is called Encouragement for Today. I love that because no matter what day you look into the yeah. Word of God or yes. you call on His name, He's there yes. and His mercies are fresh yes, every, day. every day. And He wants you to trust Him. So we're yes. going to pray. Hallelujah. Whatever your needs are, yes, whatever your Jesus. request, lay it at the foot of the cross. Yes, that's right. Thank you. And believe God. Father, yes, Jesus. I reach out my hand to the yes. listening audience, Thank the you. viewing audience. Yes, Jesus. And I ask your blessings mm -hmm. Yes, upon and in their hearts and in their lives. Yes, Jesus. You know what everyone needs. 
Yes. But it begins with a closer walk yes. with you. Yes, thank you, Jesus. I pray that you forgive Hallelujah. them of their sins. Yes, Lord. And that you raise them up. Yes, Lord. Raise them Jesus. up. Give them insight yes, with you. Yes, Lord. Let some see mm. you. Get in their yes. dreams. Show yourself. Fill them, them Father God. Yes, with your Lord. spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Give them eyes to see and ears to yes, hear. Yes, Lord, by your spirit. Father. And we thank you for this mighty Hallelujah. move. Hallelujah. Of yes. your glory God. in their lives Jesus. in Jesus' wonderful name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. 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 You have a cool. wonderful week. We will see you next week. Remember how much Jesus loves you. He gave us all just for you. If you were the only one, he would do it all over again just for you. That's right. And you know what? I still say he knows you the best and he loves you the most. Mm. He knows you the best and he loves you the most. We love you. You have a wonderful day. Keep tuning in to Holy Spirit Broadcast Network. The numbers going across the screen. You can reach us any time of the day. God bless you. God bless you. When I'm feeling down and low, your peace comes and it comforts my soul. Your peace comes and lifts me up. Your peace comes and lifts me up. The preceding program was brought to you by the Holy Spirit Broadcasting Network. HSBN Television.